asking what kind of art does a certain kind of institutional space enable or foster, and how does uh, the kind of art that is practiced there redefine the essence of the space itself, or how does it contribute to the institution's functioning of the, as a public space? So what kind of public is constituted uh, through site-specific art events, and how does it resonate with the concurrent uh, social developments? And my case study is Tallinn Art Hall, which is uh, the most uh, important, most representative uh, contemporary art premises of Tallinn, and uh, two consecutive but very different kind of art events that uh, took place there in the first years of 1990s. Uh, so the Tallinn Art Hall is a, a building and an, an institution with a notable history. Uh, which was modelled on German Kunsthalle typology in the 1930s and consisting of uh, uh, non-profit gallery spaces and artist studios. It's uh, located uh, as one of the defining structures of the main urban square in Tallinn and its uh, modern functionalist aesthetics uh, underlined uh, both the importance of art in society as well as its uh, progressive and forward-looking uh, nature. During the Soviet years, the uh, building continued to function as the uh, primary uh, exhibition space of contemporary art and was uh, run by Soviet Estonian Artists' Union. But it was, uh, over time, it was quite badly upkept and uh, uh, lacked uh, funds for renovation, so the spaces uh, were left more and more dilapidated over the years. Uh, so in these conditions, uh, in uh, February 20th to March 10th, 1991, an exhibition by Group T called The Guide to Intranomadism took place there. It was uh, proclaimed to be a, a finissage of the activities of Group T. It was uh, a group of uh, interdisciplinary uh, creative individuals initiated by architects uh, Raul Gurwitz and Dormas Muro already in 1985, and it involved painters, musicians, writers, actors, a philosopher. Their initial uh, uh, activities had involved uh, installations, paintings, uh, but uh, evolved more and more towards uh, non-object-based art. And uh, by 1991, it focused uh, mainly on uh, multidisciplinary performances. They themselves describe them as rituals, and uh, they have been often characterized as brutal or manneristic, aggressive, self-aggressive. Uh, although the event had uh, some artworks permanently on display during these two weeks, uh, the main program uh, consisted of performances uh, that took place each night, except Tuesday when the gallery was closed for the two weeks in a row. So the aim was to generate a kind of a state of intensity during these two weeks. As the title suggests, their reference point was Deleuze and Gattari's uh, nomadology. And uh, another uh, point of reference was George Bataille and his uh, conception of uh, expenditure to uh, resist the need to create value, to resist the cycles of production and uh, uh, consumption. So in order to do that, they uh, proclaimed to be anti-creative, destructive, bodily and uh, spectacular. Uh, they, their core members of Group T had the background in architecture, as I uh, already said, which I think gave them a heightened awareness of how any given space works together with the art that takes place there. So they conceptualized the gallery as an event space, uh, which opened up the uh, potential of using this uh, particular historically and uh, symbolically very highly loaded space of Tallinn Art Hall uh, in a subversive way. As they themselves said, it was a pure laboratory and we took everything it was possible to take of the art hall. Now Bataille has, uh, has talked about architecture as the society's uh, subconscious or super ego that should be dismantled. 
that means that uh, a lot of Group T's creative energy was directed aggressively not only towards themselves but also towards the architectural space. I'm going to spend one minute to show uh, uh, some cuts of uh, two uh, performances that took place there, but overall I have to say that uh, the events, uh, although taking place each night, they are not very well or not very thoroughly documented. I wanted to explain how um, uh, they were making destructive acts uh, towards the, the actual architectural space because the space itself uh, somehow had uh, a very strong uh, symbolic uh, connotations of uh, being uh, an important uh, monument to, um, I don't know, 30s and, and uh, national uh, stuff. Uh, they also um, ruined the floor. Um, I mean, the, the symbolic uh, value of the space uh, was residing in, in many significant details, like, uh, like the same uh, uh, top-lit uh, ceiling, which gave it kind of a, a sacral, um, um, sacral appearance, or uh, this uh, uh, 1930s uh, oak parquet, uh, floor uh, was also like a uh, uh, reference towards the good old days. Uh, all kind of such uh, uh, survived fine architectural detailing of the 30s took on additional meanings during the Soviet time. So they trashed also a floor uh, with uh, Raul Gurevich's uh, skiing on the floor for a performance Mura F, or uh, for instance Urmas Muro being uh, buried under gridstone. <coughs> And also, uh, they tried to make the, uh, the spaces into a workshop, also by uh, connotations uh, of uh, production processes uh, by the choice of materials like tar paper, rough metal, gritstone, industrial details, plastic, and, and other um, such stuff. Uh, whereas uh, the ritualistic aspects uh, of uh, their performances has uh, mainly prompted viewing them uh, from the point of view of uh, performer as some kind of pseudo-shaman. Uh, an equally important effect of a rite is a building up of a congregation. Uh, although it has to be uh, stressed that the complete blurring of boundaries between the performers and the onlookers was never their intent, and the performances did have a script and a preconceived plan. And the actual durational aspect of the event created some kind of commonality among this faithful public who uh, cared enough to attend daily. Urmas Muru has said that the, uh, the uh, effort of coming each day was uh, kind of too much for the regular art crowd, 
and uh, instead the evenings were increasingly attended by a new kind of public. The young punks who were hanging around at the main square and the queer people who were lacking a space of their own in town altogether. There was also one li a quite literal case of generating a new kind of uh, uh, communal being together in the art, art space, which was uh, Tarvahan Navarra's performance Acid House Dancing Party, of which I also don't uh, regrettably have any image, but it was exactly what the name implies. It was a house dancing party, which at the first place uh, astonished the regular public, who uh, were quite uh, even disappointed when a normal performance was not on offer, uh, to be replaced by the club scene crowd, who were quite happy to claim the space for that night. Actually, in Estonia, there didn't exact, uh, exist yet uh, a club scene, uh, and the first alternative electronic music events uh, were half uh, a year later. So, in terms of sound and otherwise, the Acid House uh, dancing party must have been quite uh, unexpected as the other performances were. Uh, but the importance of uh, technoculture to Group T was also confirmed when Raul Gurwitz generated a series of TV broadcasts quite a bit later, of which uh, the most important was the one uh, dedicated to introducing techno. Uh, which uh, showcased uh, Group T's own manifesto for technodelic uh, expressionism and their other earlier um, projects. Whereas uh, the early days of Group T had links to punk scene, uh, which was uh, associated with uh, resistance to the Soviet establishment in the 1980s, the change towards techno manifested a, a change in mindset as well. and. Uh, a change in ways of self-assertion under these changing social, social conditions. Techno has been characterized as a subculture that uh, deliberately lacks any message or ideological position. It is a laboratory of the present and it only uh, generates some kind of uh, collective uh, uh, effervescence uh, around a void instead of uh, anything meaningful. So uh, I would say that the performances of Group T, not only this Acid House dancing party, but the whole two weeks uh, may be seen as a continuous party, uh, may be seen as uh, re-establishing uh, commonality of bodies each night, uh, a temporary uh, alternative community. And uh, Jean-Michel Nancy has asked if this uh, characteristic of techno could enable a possibility of being in common that uh, precedes any binding principles uh, to create a commonality before any common denominator. Uh, I think this is an important question because of the uh, timing. In February 1991, all the social efforts in Estonian society seemed to be consolidated towards uh, creating a, a consensual new uh, independent republic and commonality was defined in very singular and basically nationalistic terms. And this temporary time space that Group T created through their uh, continuous uh, party or uh, uh, temporary congregation there was uh, trying to find a way for being in common that would defy such uh, simplistic common denominators. At the same time, or Actually, only very slightly later, a quite different commonality came into existence in the same premises. A Swiss conceptual artist, uh, George Steinmann, came to visit Tallinn out of curiosity, like there were many foreigners at the time, and uh, visited the spaces and said uh, he has recalled that uh, from his very first impression, he had uh, the vision to make an artistic intervention that uh, uh, would be a processual sculpture uh, basically uh, in the form of renovating the building to its original 1930 state. So he proposed uh, this kind of project to the art hall, its head, Anu Livak, including a, a conceptual diagram uh, mind map, as he called it. In it, uh, yeah, it's kind of visible, uh, he uh, sets his project into an all-encompassing ethical framework of sustainability 
that would be aimed at fostering a collectivity instead of artists' own ego. Uh, sustainability was also underlined by uh, including the Rio Earth Summit uh, resolution as one of the bases of the project. Beginning of 1990s, environmental art was far from mainstream in Estonia and elsewhere, but the aspect of heritage uh, protection and conservation resonated very heavily. Uh, because uh, uh, the whole process of re-establishing um, uh, Estonian Republic was uh, very strongly looking backwards towards the 1930s. Uh, it was uh, so intensely mm, uh, uh, motivated by a desire to return to everything that was uh, pre-war the laws, traditions, the regulations, institutions, that it was uh, earning a nickname of Republic of Historians. History was being used as a science of legitimation in all social spheres. And so the project of restoring the building of the art hall became a social capital that was greatly enhancing its uh, public visibility and reputation and the value of this institution itself. Of course, at first, in 1992, uh, actual financial capital was of more urgent uh, problem. So Steinman committed to fundraising, and for that, uh, he hoped to get help from the Swiss government's decision in 1992 to grant monetary aid to all the Eastern European uh, ex-Soviet countries. The monetary aid was actually meant for projects to fund social health care environment, infrastructure sectors, and projects that would support the emerging private sector of the economy, which, of course, Art Hall was none of them. So he did a lot of lobbying uh, until uh, the Swiss Office for Foreign Economy accepted that the choice of the project uh, uh, could come from the Estonian side. And Anu Leivak, from her side, backed up with letters of support from various Swiss cultural institutions managed to persuade the Office for Foreign Cooperation at the Estonian Ministry of Finance to declare restoration of Tallinn Art Hall a national priority. So for 93-94, there was the lengthy negotiations, budgeting, drafting up the interior design uh, project and the actual works, until by the end of 1994, almost all restoration was uh, finished and uh, in February 15th, 1995, uh, the uh, festive opening of I have some images of the renovation works, which were really very thorough. They also, uh, this aid uh, um, said that most of the materials and uh, utilities that they use should come from Swiss companies. Uh, so in February 1995, there was this uh, opening of the uh, artwork as empty void spaces. Uh, so Steinman's activities in conceptualizing the project and, and negotiating all kinds of various parties involving uh, Art Hall, Artists' Union, Estonian and Swiss governments, uh, uh, construction companies, embassies, uh, unions of artists, Pro Helvetia Foundation, Bern City Government, uh, private individuals. It clearly exceeded the conventional art project and uh, I would say it could uh, be uh, reframed as uh, a position that Markus Miesen has called a cross-branch practitioner who is essentially an uninvited outsider. Miesen says that a uh, cross-branch practitioner is somebody who is independent and proactive individual with a conscience who intervenes into social and political processes without uh, political mandate, which means that he retains an autonomy of thought and production. So in the context of uh, transi transition in the beginning of 1990s, when this uh, social and political landscape in Estonia was uh, uh, not very much uh, regulated yet, it was uh, much more easier to uh, make such kind of intervention. Uh, at the same time, um, 
uh, from the Estonian reviews, uh, the aspect of sustainability as well as uh, this um, uh, uh, social um, uh, crossbench practitioners' uh, uh, possibilities was largely lost because it was mainly uh, viewed as enormous material and practical gain and praised for its architectural qualities and immaculate restoration work. Uh, but uh, I also wanted to highlight in, in, in one more minute uh, that uh, together with uh, restoring the uh, premises to this uh, pristine state, uh, it was, of course, a great gain, but it also meant uh, uh, giving up some of its uh, subversive uh, uh, potential because um, it also um, restored some kind of uh, behavior uh, conventions and what you can do in these spaces. Uh, internationally, in the 1990s, the art institutions were reinventing themselves to be seen not as passive exhibitors of the artworks, but essential roles as production spaces and uh, produ producers of active participants, which the actions of uh, Group T very well fulfilled. But the art hall was perhaps not very ready to build upon these developments, but opted for a return to more conventional and more representative relationship of art space and the public, uh, which came with the possibilities generated by the project of Steinmann. And the reasons, of course, were both ideological, practical, uh, and reflected very well the developments of the society itself, which was uh, closing uh, from their initial um, openness of the transition time. Thank you.